In the wake of recent activities of hoodlums and street artists in the border communities between Lagos and Ogun State, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Adamu, has ordered the immediate deployment of additional intelligence and operational assets of the police comprising police mobile force units, Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, Intelligence Response Team and the Special Tactical Squad to Lagos and Ogun State to strengthen security and build public confidence in the affected areas. The intervention team is being coordinated by Deputy Inspector General of Police, a seasoned crime fighter who doubles as the DIG in charge of the Department of Research and Planning of the Police and the coordinating DIG for Southwest Geopolitical Zone. He is to immediately oversee the deployment of these additional assets to enhance public safety, public confidence and general security in the two states. Joining us now by telephone is the Commissioner of Police, Ogun State, Kenneth Ibrisom. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Could you please... Uh, bring us up to speed what the current situation is. We've known there have been an uptick in violence, um, robbery and banditry. Yeah, I, think, I think it's uh, proper to give a little bit of the genesis to the challenges. Can I start with the genesis? Yeah, you have to make it as concise as possible. Go ahead. Okay. You know, there was this uh, issue of cult rivalry in Ifo. Uh, where two cult groups had uh, a battle of supremacy. And that put the entire place in confusion and police rose to the challenge and made several arrests. However, due to the activities you go to areas of water, Ijoku, Agbado Railway Crossing, and this group started to harass and intimidate the uh, innocent people along the, the border areas of the state and uh, Lagos. In that way, the police went into action, and it was a barrage of reports of robbery, attacking, and making life uncomfortable for the people around the border areas. So based on this distress, we started responding, and with intelligence, we were able to go around and mop up the shoeblocks. Up to the extent of arresting 150 of them, recovered locally made guns, Cartridges, 52, knives, plates, and large quantities of suspected, which suspected to be in their hands, several lances and uh, battle axes. Is this situation any, in any way aggravated by the lockdown announced by the federal government? A lot of persons believe this is the case. Um, there is something I need to point out here. We have been contending with this group of politics even before this lockdown. So it was not a mere coincidence that it happened at this particular time of lockdown. But what is very important now is what are we doing to contend with this issue? Now, these issues have given rise to anxiety, panic, and fear. So what we did was to do a formidable deployment along the border areas, and we embarked on fear and panic reduction patrols. We went ahead to distribute the phone numbers of the GPOs and area commanders in these affected areas so that um, their distresses can be attended to in a record time. We went further again to have a joint patrol with the Lagos, our counterpart, along the border areas. Then our tactical teams and uh, conventional policemen have been largely deployed along the border areas of uh, 
Ogu and Lagos, such as Amado Railway Crossing, Akute, Okiaro, Ijoku, Ota, and A4, and the surrounding environment. Let, let me let me ask you this question quickly. The yeah. there there are concerns. Some we've even seen videos on social media where people were saying that uh, the uptick in robbery is because they are hungry, uh, that they have not had uh, the benefit of um, receiving the palliatives announced by the federal government. Is this the case? And could it also be as a result of inadequate engagement? Uh, you know, my duty is to maintain law and order and ensure the security of life of the citizen. So if they are saying they are not able to go out and because of the lockdown, it is the meeting that celebrates. If the lockdown is put in place by the federal government, it's to save the life of the citizen. And it is not an avenue for anybody to embark on one-term destruction of life. Assuming somebody is there, will you be there to eat? So my advice is that they should persevere. They should partner with the federal government. They should partner with the state government to ensure that these things are handled in a proper way so that at the end of the day, we will all celebrate. So that is my own take on it. All right. I, I, I hope there is something being done to ensure that officers do not um, mistreat civilians in the course of trying to enforce the law. Like I told you earlier when we started this, I told you that we are going to carry out this restriction with human faith and will ensure that we operate under the ambit of the law and also ensure we don't trample on the fundamental rights of the citizens as we embark on this restriction on this. My officers have been truly lectured, educated, and we have a monitoring unit going around to ensure that there are no infractions on the side of the police. All right. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much.